How you doing everybody? <clears throat> so and change the alternator. Got a 2005 Camry four cylinder. The cam uh, the alternator is winding. It's making a winding so sound. And when you check it, it says, I'm gonna link a photo of when I plug it to the scan. And show you what this says. The battery says replace battery, but if the alternator is not changed. The alternator is not changing. Is not charging. My bad. It's not charging the battery. The battery is gonna show low voltage, and it's gonna say replace battery on the scan tool. But the alternator, I think, is the problem because it's making a noise sound. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and open it up right now. Okay, first of all, what you need to do is you need to unplug it. You plug it from right here. This is press the press it right there and pull it out. And best thing to do before you take this bolt out is to take the negative cable out from the battery. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, I got it. 10 millimeter socket. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it so that way it won't cause any electronic. Just lay it right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to take this out. This is also a 10 millimeter. this up and take it out okay we're gonna take this out just lift it up this rubble right here rubber got burnt got burnt and got melted into the bolt for some reason I'm gonna take it out just leave it over the other side and next what you do is is a 19 millimeter bolt the bolt is right there this is for the belt tensioner so what you need to do is just do it this way uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it in a second just do it this way take the belt out That's it, that's all you gotta do. Then after that, it's two bolts. One over here, one in the bottom. Gonna take them out also. Okay guys, after you take the belt off, there's a 14 millimeter bolt right here. See, it's right there. Ready to loosen it up a little bit. And there's another one that's going to be at the bottom of it. I don't know if you can see it right there. See what it is right there. there. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off so we can get the alternator out of there. Okay the this right here is a clip at the bottom of this so all you gotta do is just hold this real tight and hold the second part with the other hand and pull it out. I already did it, but you can see it's right here. So it goes this way. So we're gonna take this out. This piece right here, you can use a screwdriver or to get this piece out of here. Or you could do the, you could do it with your finger actually. You don't even have to use a screwdriver. And you could take it out.
and to get this whole wire out of your way, you can unplug this too, right here. Like that, so. And get, you can get it out right here, sorry about the media directions. Okay, now you, you got access to this bolt right here in the bottom of it. And uh, you got the access to this one right here. So we're gonna take them out. This is a 14, the bottom one is a 12 millimeter. All right, guys. Okay, I got this one out. And this one also, I got it out. So all I gotta do is just pull it out. Swiggle it out and take it out. It's the bolt right here. And you can take this out now. That's the problem right here. We're gonna take it back to O'Reilly and see what they're gonna say. All right, I'll see you guys in a few seconds. I'm gonna go to O'Reilly and get another one and come right back. All right, guys, we got the new alternator from O'Reilly. They took the old one. Try so with this one. Now, all we need to do is replace it. All right, guys, so now it's gonna go this way. Gotta get the bolts. Be right back. I'll go ahead and put it in the car right now. Just like this, bolt in. those two bolts tied up now I'm gonna go ahead and try to put the belt back in here um, what do you do is you put the 90 all right guys I just had to I put the belt back in there I had to wrestle with it a little bit uh, but we got it in there okay, so what we got to do now is just plug everything up That one goes to here, this one goes to the bottom. This one. Oh. This one you gotta put it in here. Make sure you see it right in here because if you don't, it's not gonna be fixed right. Okay, I got this in there. Got this in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one goes to the lights. I know. 
supposed to be like this. You gotta tie this up. Okay, the next thing we gotta do now, I think everything is, is good over here. All we gotta do is just put the battery box back in, the battery uh, terminal back in. Just tie this, you don't have to tie it too much. All right, nice and smug. You gotta do right now the moment of truth to test it out. I'm gonna go ahead and crank it and just. Like 12 some volt. If we're gonna test it out now. 